Hello, welcome. I am Dr. Meena and in today's video, I am going to teach you about circulation from the ICC board in class 10th book. Mm. I am going to teach you about properties of blood or what is the difference between the arterial blood and the venous blood. So, let's start. First, we start the difference between the arterial blood and the venous blood. See, the arterial blood, it carry the oxygenated blood. Okay. It carry the oxygen and the venous blood, it carry the deoxygenated blood. That means it carry the carbon dioxide. If you see the color of the arterial blood, that is a bright red color. And if you see the venous blood, that is the dark red color. So, these are the difference of the arterial blood and the venous blood. So, now come to the properties of blood. First property of blood is the blood never stop. It never is stationary means it cannot stop in one place. It always move in the whole body. Okay. If you see the color which I already told you about the arterial blood and the venous blood. Arterial blood carries the oxygenated and the bright red color. So, venous blood is the dark red color. Okay. Now, come to the volume of blood. If you see the volume of blood, normal human body contain 5 to 6 liter blood in the body. Okay. Next property is a taste. If we see the taste of blood is a little salt taste, little salty taste. Okay. Now, come to the next point that is the pH. The pH of blood is a slightly alkaline. Alkaline means if the pH is above the 7. So, pH of blood is a 7.3 to 7.45. So, it is a slightly alkaline. In the today video, I hope you like my video and thank you so much for watching this video.